When Letty and Dom are in Cuba, Dom finds himself racing in a vehicle that turns out to be a ticking time bomb. Now we're taking you to the behind the scenes of this blazing race down the scenic Malecon in Havana to see how we pulled it off. One of the things that we wanted in this drag race is not to make it be just a regular drag race from start to finish, because we've done those in Fast and Furious. Let's make it through the city. They've got to make right-hand turns, left-hand turns, around people, around cars. And we'll give them blockers. The motorcycles will be blockers who will block the traffic just for a split second. So we're getting ahead of these guys. We're blocking traffic and stopping everybody from coming in through the intersection so these guys can just charge as fast as they can. It's been fun. The streets are a little dirty, a little slippery here and there, but you kind of spot your lines and it all works out. Been a good experience here out here in Havana riding. Sometimes pulling a, a dirty move here and there, launching a bike in front of cars and, and uh, trying to keep Dom from winning the race. We said, that's not enough. We've got to have something that he has to deal with. Dom has rigged this car to go faster, but at the same time, it's also about to explode. And the harder he drives this car, the more likely it's gonna explode. And it happens right here on the Malacan. We were probably hitting close to 100 on the Malacan, and Fred was having a hard time in the helicopter keeping up with him. This is one of the most beautiful stretches of Havana, right off the water, and this is where we end our race. They turn onto the Malacan, they avoid traffic, but Dom's car has literally been transformed into a bomb. The fire almost gives away your speed, because it's slow speed, you can tell you're not going fast, but when you're moving, it's just blowing back all over the windshield, pulling into the car, I mean, it's the real deal. Trying to make a car go backwards fast was tough. He gave us four-wheel steering, which really helped that we could actually do 90 miles an hour and keep it fairly controllable. But that's how we did it safely. What better way to open a movie that has a bunch of cars <laughs> and a bunch of action sequences with cars than Cuba? It's the perfect place, not only for the story, but just as a backdrop to open Fast 8, and I loved it.